Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's do a review of the Louis Vuitton Papillon trunk, which is this little beauty that I have in my hand. Now, although this is called a trunk and is part of the trunk family with Louis Vuitton, there are differences between it and the Petite Mal, which I will show you. The Petite Mal is obviously a small version of the Louis Vuitton trunk. You can see behind me here that I have one of the Louis Vuitton trunks on the shelf and the trunk is much more similar to the Petite Mal, although there are a lot of similarities carried over into the Papillon trunk to make it look more like the trunk family, but there are quite con considerable differences as well. You can see that on the Papillon trunk, it has the leather trim and it has the little stud detail and it has the S lock, which is also how you open the Louis Vuitton trunks to get in and out of them and how you open the Petite Mal. But if we have a look at the mini version of the trunk, which is the Petite Mal, they're obviously hard sided. And that's the biggest difference between the actual trunks, the Petite Mal or the Tresor, which is over here and the Papillon. Although this is called a trunk and is made to look very much like a trunk with these trimmings, it's softer. It's much, much lighter. It doesn't have the hard sidedness to this and it is, I suppose, much more usable on a daily basis than what the Petite Mal would be because it's a lot lighter to wear cross body. It's a lot softer. It fits a lot more and it makes it, I suppose, more like an everyday version of one of the trunks. And that's, I think, as close as Louis Vuitton go to an everyday bag with one of the trunks. Then you're moving down into the Nano Speedies and the multi pochette and the Palm Springs Mini, which are more their actual classic everyday bags, whereas this is still classed as a trunk. It does have the S opening, which does take two hands to open it, let's be honest. It can be a little bit awkward whenever you're wearing it. More than opening it, I find it can be a little bit awkward closing it because the shape of the bag is obviously circular. It is a perfect cylinder. So when you have things in the bag, it depends how they sit, whether or not that pops in easily or whether or not you need two hands. I have been using this, if I'm honest, with stuff in it and been trying to close it and it's been scratching along it and I haven't been lining it up exactly and I've had to hold it together to close it in. Now I know first world problems, but if we're gonna do a review of this bag, let me tell you what it's actually like so as you can get the pros and the cons. I have to say that I love this little beauty and that annoyance about the closing it definitely isn't enough to put me off this bag. I think this bag is a real vibe and I think as opposed to the Nano Speedy Palm Springs Mini, which I used to have, I prefer this one because I prefer the look of it. I think it's a little bit more unusual than those bags. I think you see a lot less of this bag than what you do of the Nano Speedy or the Palm Springs Mini. And I think this one just has a little bit more of an edge or a vibe to it, probably because they've brought in the trunk characteristics of it. It's a bag that I personally prefer to wear than I did the Palm Springs Mini. When I bought this bag, I actually ended up letting the Palm Springs Mini go because they're both in my collection, a crossbody monograb type bag. And once I had this one, I reached for this so, so much more than I did for the Palm Springs Mini. And I have no regrets on buying this bag, but I do want to tell you that difficulty and just how that can be a little bit annoying to get it closed whenever you're out and about and actually using it. As opposed to the Petite Mal, the Petite Mal obviously has the black leather trimming on the side and it has the black corner detail, which this one doesn't have. So they have softened the look for this one a little bit, I think. If you see, it does have the brown leather trim. It is the perfect cylinder. And it comes with this chain that I have on it. Another thing I will say, just so you are aware, you have to line it up to make it hang properly. I have at times put the chain on and it's hung and it's done this a bit. So you just have to get your chain on sitting the way it's meant to sit to make sure that it doesn't spin around. But once you get that on where it's meant to be, it sits perfectly and there's no difficulties with that. I just got caught out a few times putting the chain on in a hurry, not really checking that I was putting it into the right loops because you can see there are two and it's spun round. It also comes with this thick crossbody strap, which I really, really like. I think this thick aspect to this strap, whenever you're wearing this bag crossbody, really gives it something extra. And I will try it on and show you mod shots, but I think the thickness of this, whenever you add it to this, makes this bag that bit more edgy and that bit more of a vibe. I just think it's iconic whenever I wear it. And I don't think if I were to put a thinner strap on it that it would get the same look. I don't think it would have as much of an impact or be as dramatic with a thin strap, say if it had a thin black strap. 
which this one comes with. Although I very, very rarely, if ever, wear this crossbody. This I very much carry as a handheld bag, as a clutch bag. I think it's a moment. I love this bag. It's one of my absolute favourites. And the thin black strap that came with it, I don't even think, it's not even in there because I never really wear this bag crossbody. So I do think this one is designed more to be a crossbody than what this is. I think the strap comes with this to make it crossbody if you want to put it crossbody or you need to use it whereas I think the crossbody aspect to this is much more of a design feature than it is on the petite mal. This strap comes, it is detachable obviously because it's in my hand. It attaches to the top loop here, you have the two rings on the side, the chain goes on the bottom and the crossbody goes on the top to make it sit properly. That's where I've got caught out before. When you put the crossbody on the top, the chain will hang like that whenever you're wearing it. And then this gets added on to allow you to wear it crossbody. And I have worn this bag crossbody a lot more than I have worn it handheld. When it goes to be handheld like this, I generally, if I'm going out, reach for this one. But when it comes to wearing it during the day on a daily basis, I will reach for this one because I think it just, one, it's more usable, it fits a lot more, and I think it's more of a vibe crossbody. I love how thick this strap is. It is adjustable, so you can see that it has the very thick belt buckle like to the strap here, and then it has four different holes where you can vary the length to wear it crossbody. I have mine on the longest. I like the look of it on the longest. I have worn it shorter as well whenever I've wanted a different look from it, but this actually comes with it. So it's not a bag that you're having to buy additional straps to give you the option of wearing it crossbody or to make different lengths with it. With it. The attachments are then in the gold and they do have Louis Vuitton on them, obviously. And it has this little belt buckle to make it look as if when you're wearing this, it is a belt. And to keep this in so that the bottom of the strap isn't flapping about if you have it on one of the shorter lengths so it would be much more of this strap coming through and there's two belt buckles with it to hold it in place. Generally when I'm wearing this crossbody I wear this to the front because I like the look of this and I think the belt aspect of this is a design feature and I like to wear that showing it as well as this. Obviously, if you want it to be a bit of a cleaner look, you can turn it the other way, wear the strap across you without the buckle on the front and it will look that little bit cleaner. If we look at the bag itself, it does have the S-lock and the inside is one open space. So whenever you get inside this bag, there's not a huge amount going on. Definitely the features and the design and the attention to detail is on the outside of this bag, making it look like a circular cylinder trunk, which I personally love. But when you get into the inside, it is just one open space. And it is the suede type effect on the back. It's the back of the leather. I assume it feels very soft. One thing I will say is I have had a makeup brush in this before and you can see on the bottom there where the makeup has hit it. So if you are going to be putting in there makeup brushes with dust or pens, make sure the lid is on them. I'm sure there are companies that have made a bag liner in this shape to just protect the inside of that because if you do get pen on this, mine would probably brush out because it's the dusting of a makeup brush but if you've got lipstick or pen or anything you're going to mark the inside of this and it's going to be um, quite difficult to clean it off so it might be advisable for even myself with my pen or my makeup mark on the inside to get a little liner to keep it clean. It fits a lot more than you would think. It certainly fits a lot more than its little friend here, the Petite Mal. This you can wear on a daily basis. It looks like it's going to be like a mini bag but this fits more than what say a Chanel mini would do or it fits more than one of the mini examples that I have behind us but I will turn the camera around and show you what fits in this bag and I will then also try this on and give you more. I did bring out with me a ruler to show you the size across this bag so it is eight inches across and it is roughly four inches across the diameter of the circle. To be honest, when I watch reviews of bags, those measurements don't really compute to my mind to actually showing me the size of the bag, but I will show you what's inside, which might make a bit more sense. It is, if you want it in centimeters, it's roughly about 20 centimeters. And if we look at it with the petite mal, it's very similar in size to what the length of the petite mal is. Let's have a look at what we can fit in this little beauty. I have my phone, which I like to always be able to fit in my bags. Mine is the iPhone Pro. It's not the max, not the biggest one, but you can see that it fits in there with quite 
enough space then the long Louis Vuitton card holder fits in also easily enough I then have my key clay which is full of my little bits and pieces and that fits in there as well I can then also add in the flat Chanel mirror which I tend to take everywhere with me and then I could add in my lipstick as well and all of that you could also then put your key in the space that's left here you can see that there's still space here you could either put a small perfume sample a key hair bobbles another lip product whatever you would need and that will fit in there easily and close it is very deceptive it has a lot more space in it than what I thought it was going to have I can fit a lot more in it than what I thought I was going to be able to fit in it I think it's deceptively big as to what it looks I could take out if we want some examples I could take out the key clay and I could put in my Jo Malone perfume which is the 30 mil size so not a tiny sample but that's going to fit in there perfectly and have no problem closing I also have my Charlotte Tilbury film star which is my bronzer and highlighter which I really really like I could probably put that in there and the key clay and it's still going to close yep that's going to close without difficulty so if we have a look at what's in there we have my phone which is the pro we have my card holder which is the longer one and has quite a lot in it we have the double highlighter and bronzer the key clay which is full we have my lipstick here the chanel mirrors in the corner and i could still put my key in here now i couldn't put my four ring key holder but i could take my key fob or my key off and put it in there this won't fit because it's tall but if we had a smaller perfume sample there would be no difficulty putting it in there so it is quite spacious and holds quite a lot more than what i thought it would have held whenever i first got it this is the bag on me and for reference i am five foot one and a uk size 12 it sits this is it on the longest length setting i have worn this bag before up around here i've shortened the setting to make it sit up at my waist and i like the look of it that way as well and i've worn it on the longer setting i've also spun it around my back before and worn it with the strap across me and then the bag hanging on my back i like that look and the way you're seeing it at the minute if i just spin the camera down and show you this is the weight of the bag with everything in it that i put in to show you it fitting so that's it's hanging with it very full i think it's fabulous i have to say if anybody asks me if i recommend this bag i absolutely love it i think it's a fabulous bag and i think it's a great alternative to say the nano speedy or the pan springs mini that just looks that little bit different it has the trunk look to it i think it's a little bit more unusual i probably actually prefer wearing it on the slightly shorter setting up around here but i think it's definitely a winner for me and i know that a lot of you since i bought this have also bought this bag i i absolutely love it i think for me, it probably ruled out the need for me to have the Palm Springs Mini and I'd already let the Nano Speedy go, Nano Speedy go at that stage. I just, I think it's a fabulous, fabulous bag. So that's a review of the Papillon trunk from Louis Vuitton, what fits in it, showing you it on me. Again, five foot one, UK size 12, and also a comparison to the Petite Mal and a general overview. As you can see from mine, there is no wear and tear on mine yet. I have had it nearly a year. I have worn it a decent amount, although I have to admit that I do have a collection of bags, so it does get rotated. It's not that it's used every single day, but for the use that I have used, you can't see any wear on it at all. Apart from if you looked up close at the buckle, you probably would see some hairline scratches where I have been closing it and it hasn't connected immediately and there are some hairline scratches I have no doubt but that's to be expected with any bag with the s-lock that's being used on a regular basis for me personally I love this bag I don't regret it I think it's a great great Louis Vuitton bag I think it's a real moment when you're wearing it I think it just gives something extra to an outfit and I have no regrets in buying this one thank you so much for watching me I hope this was informative if you're looking to think about buying this bag or you're just interested in this bag if it has been useful please do give me a thumbs up to help with the algorithm thank you so much for watching me please take care and i will see you again in the next one